Da, da, da. She's back. I'm back. It's Matt. Just mm -hmm. seeing how you are. Hi, Hello. Matt. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well, Matt. It looks like Laura, but you're Matt. Do you guys what did I miss? want to what? What did I miss? Uh, I don't know. You didn't miss anything, I don't think. Did she miss anything? I don't think so. Um, Aww. Invite That's Rosie sweet. to go live. <gasps> Is she on? I don't know. Is Rosie on now? I'm inviting her right now. Oh. No, it's going to be the... Hi! Bar. No! Yes! <laughs> I'm going to cry. I do! I Hi. think you're crying. I am not Hi. excited to see you. Hi. We you can adore. see me, right? Can you see me? Yeah. Yes. Can you see us? Yeah. It's the pink and the flowered shirt. Yes. Yeah. I, I've watched your videos. I enjoy them. Oh, we watch you Thank all the time you. and your oh. daughter's so adorable. Isn't she something? Oh, we love her. We, we, I'm, we I'm just... writing a book. I'm in the midst of writing a book called Raising Dakota, The Joy of Autism. Because not everyone gets the flavor autism that I got. But the flavor that I got is fucking delicious. Oh, that's fantastic. I mean, it's unbelievable. And I'm not diminishing anyone else's struggle. I'm simply saying what came into my life at 50 years old was this like hybrid alien godlike creature that needed me in a way that my other four never did. And it was like you form a symbiosis and you try to make it a healthy symbiosis and <laughs> you do everything you can to enter her world, you know? Right. And it's changed my whole life, I have to tell you. You both are so really incredibly blessed to have each other. I mean, thank goodness she has you. And what an incredible gift she has given you. Yes, both, right? you have no idea. It's mm -hmm. I don't I don't ever I like I try sometimes to imagine what my life would have been like in the last 10 years from 50 to 60 mm -hmm. had I not had her. And I can't even fathom it. And I remember mm -hmm. when I had Parker 28 years ago, I remember three months after having him, I thought, what did I used to do all day? What, what did I used to, how did I live? But once you have kids and you're in the kid mode, you know, then you get to be 61, I'm 61, and you go, wow, look at, I'm kind of out of the kid mode. Now it's on me. It all comes down to you, Joni Mitchell said, right? She was yeah. right. Yeah, I mean, we're, we both are 65. We've been friends for 45 years. Mm -hmm. and I can beat you on that one. Uh -huh. Really? My best friend, Jackie, when I was three years old, I knocked on her door and apparently said to her mother, do you have anyone here three? Oh, no. And she remains my best friend. One is gray, one is dark haired. And uh, we've been literally the best friends for 59, 58 years. Oh my God. Yeah, I think, I think the amazing thing about Cheryl and I, we met in this industry as dancers mm -hmm. and we stayed friends and, you know, we did movies and, and commercials, you know, just the stuff that you do mm -hmm. as you're trying to make it a, yes. here in Los Angeles. And we've stayed friends mm -hmm. where people come and go. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. been uh, it's been one of the most important relationships in my life. Mm -hmm. Same with me. And, you know, I lost my mom when I was 10. And mm -hmm. and, you know, luckily I haven't lost my siblings. My kids are all well. And, you know, I think that the biggest loss for me is going to be her. You know, her mother is getting up there and her mother raised me as well as her. And she had a younger sister and we used to go mm -hmm. to like fortune off so wherever the mother they did much better than we did as a family and so they would take us to like macy's where we would go to like corvettes you know what i mean like yes yeah so we went to macy's and i would be standing there three little girls like the same age and the woman at the counter would say are they all yours <laughs> to which jackie's mother would say no one isn't can you guess which one and they never guessed me. And it was years later when I was about 12 or 13 that I saw she was doing this in the mirror of the jewelry counter. She was saying, don't pick this one. Right? Like, so she was protecting me when I was a little kid from being called the girl with no mother when she was there Aww. in that role, you know?
Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. That's the, yeah. how long the friendship goes back. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, I know. I, I lost my only son six years ago. Oh, he was 31. Oh I know. And Cheryl How old was he? 31. What happened? Um, he, when he got into high school, his last year, he started to develop, uh, he was ready to go to college and he started to develop some mental illness. Schizophrenia starts at that age. Yeah, and then it was, it took uh, me quite a while to accept who he turned out to be because he wasn't the same person. And then um, he, you know, it was that call in the middle of the night. You know, there's a woman I'm friends with on here. There's a couple of women who have people struggling with addiction in their life. And I was seeking out other people to sort of talk to in the last couple of years. And there's one woman I've been following, her and her daughter. And last night, the daughter died. And she left, you know, everyone has been following their posts and they're brave to talk about it because mm -hmm. As you know, when it, whether it's mental illness, drug abuse, a combination of both, your friends eventually get sick of the fact that this is on your mind 24 seven. I mean, Jackie has stood there by me throughout the whole thing. I'm sure that you stand by as well, yes. but it's hard for other people, sort of the relentlessness of the disease and the sort of bleak future prospects in terms of, you know, like, like, her daughter was a heroin addict, and I think I read, like, in recovery, like, 8% of heroin addicts get sober. Only 1% of meth addicts get sober. Yeah, it got to a point where, you know, you kind of get sick of hearing yourself even talk about it to a certain degree, but it's on your mind 24-7. I had to change my ring of my phone because yes. every time I heard that ring, yes. panic went through me this anxiety like oh no is has he been in a car crash again are the police here again you know it was a constant consuming yeah. i also got cancer from that too i believe that i believe yeah. you can yeah this I was, ease yes this, this ease. Ease. Exactly. i know right. nobody else in my family has had cancer except me and i know that's the you know that reason i created it myself from the anxiety and the angst and the constant uh yeah I, I think that's what my mother did as well which is you know some of my siblings get very angry when i say that but you know i think my mom developed cancer because of all the stress that was going on in her life and house that she couldn't deal with you know I believe and they it. say you know a lot of things which my father used to say don't air our dirty laundry in public you know, wait, I wait a minute. Wait a minute there, dad. Yeah. You know? yeah, you just never know who's going to hear something or how you can help somebody else by being transparent, by telling your truth. And, you know, Cheryl mm -hmm. just called me thick skin because he is thick skin. <laughs> I'd say that's good, honey. Yeah. It's better to be thick skinned in life. <laughs> I, I agree. And on TikTok, you know, things come to us and things are said to us and it just you just roll with all of it. Well, I think, well, you, you know, you get negative comments. I can't imagine what you're doing. That's negative. I I've seen you only happily dancing and talking <laughs> and laughing. What could you possibly do that would upset someone? Well,